We got a really awesome appetizer. It's a mini taco. and We've been serving it for a while now. People love these fuckers. I've seen, I've seen a male eat maybe 25 of them at a party. At least. What we do is we take these large flour tortillas. Um, really, you can buy any size and you cut little rings out of them, little, little mini tacos. I found that an empty can works great and you just press it right in there. Look at that, boom, done. Brilliant. There's one. People are gonna love these things, I swear. And I don't know, out of one of these tortillas, you can probably get six tacos. We have some chicken that I marinated and I cooked earlier, similar to a recipe I've done before, but you can use pork or ground beef, anything like that works great. We're gonna use some cubed up chicken. I got it sit, sitting in some sauce. One thing though, there's a lot of sauce, so I think it's probably good to like strain it a little bit. Yeah, I got I got these tongs that will strain enough. Don't worry, well ahead of you. You don't want it to be too wet when you plate it or it'll make this soggy. So sometimes it's good to actually take some of the chicken out let it strain off a little bit and put it in here. We're gonna take some chicken, just a little bit. You know, this is, appetizers are meant to be like one to two bites. So just take a little bit, a nice serving size, and stack it up. You don't wanna overfill these things too much because you're a pain in the ass to eat. Exactly. When you're dealing with like high-end, New York, bougie, highfalutin people, I'm like, ooh, too much juice got on my suit. I'm like, go eat somewhere else. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of salsa I made. This is a peach salsa. You can really add a, you know, a regular tomato salsa, but I love the fruit kick. And it's summertime, so any fresh fruit that you can incorporate into your dishes, people are gonna appreciate. I found. And then of course we have zips. Zips are our famous sauces. These are the most impressive of all, especially because you can really mask the taste of anything as long as you have a good zip. Not saying this chicken and salsa doesn't taste amazing, but just add a nice little sauce on top. It looks impressive. You can do a little zigzag technique. That always works out great. And it's always nice to have two that are different flavors that sort of balance each other out. Because it's awesome. As you can see, with two colors, it's gonna look beautiful. And Mike is gonna be at this job tomorrow. Um, he's gonna be serving 100 people. So he's gonna have all these already cut out. And this is if you're ever doing a big party, you pre-cut all these things. You can even stack the tortillas on top of each other and press out multiple ones at the same time. And he's got these zip bottles made. All he does is take the tortilla, put the chicken on, zip it, hit the salsa, it goes out, people go crazy, the crowd goes wild, everybody loves it and they're happy and they think you're awesome. And Looking at these tacos, they look great, but they need something. They need a garnish to really just pop, to really sing. So I think a little bit of green onion, anything you have lying around, sprinkle those on, just a few on each. Yeah. And look, you can even sprinkle a few on the plate. Oh my God, contrast. look at this guy, he's amazing. He's yeah, amazing. exactly. And you serve this up, at a party, and people, I'm telling you, will freak out. Mini tacos, you usually don't get things like that. You serve someone that, you could be serving it to your friends who are wasted and drunk and high in college, or you could serve it to some highfalutin people like tonight. That is, And they're all great. gonna be like, this is great. And that is the beautiful thing, that the highfalutin rich assholes don't realize that they're eating the same food <laughs> as all the college kids out there. It, and they're like, it's all the same fucking thing, I swear. As long as it tastes good, it's flavorful, they're gonna enjoy it.